My name is Jay Yipuma. I am the president of Environmental Recycling and Disposal. Um, I'm also the owner of Mobile Transfer Station. It's a uh, IEPA permitted waste transfer station in uh, Rockdale, Illinois. Um, I actually came here today hoping to be listened in on a landfill committee that was formed in the last meeting, which I, I was really excited about because I think it's very important for our county to have this committee. Um, I don't know what happened to that meeting, whether it got canceled or it's not going to happen. But I strongly urge you guys to start putting that together and have that committee formed. Um, there's other counties that have it, Lawrence County, Peoria County, Whiteside County, Knox County. They all have landfill committees uh, that are formed to get information about what's happening, whether it's just environmental issues that are happening in your county, whether it's... Um, uh, right now, you guys, I know you guys are talking about going through an expansion on the landfill. You need to understand how that's going to affect your county, what's going to happen. I know, um, I don't know if this is the right uh, place to be having this public comment, but uh, over my past 10 years of talking with the county and working through the different situations that I have had personally, uh, I've been directed to the land use department, and then they say, no, 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 that goes to the executive department, and I just get tossed around everywhere. But no matter what happens, I'm always being challenged as, uh, uh, through the county um, on things that I think that are important for the county to have. Um, I, think it's, I think it's very important that you guys have this uh, landfill committee uh, formed and, and uh, put some people outside that are involved in our industry and the waste industry or in the environmental industry, get some insight into what's happening. Also get Wilmington involved. They're, they're it's in their community. They should sit on that board and just have some insight on what happens. Um, also, the other thing is if you guys are going through an expansion, the last time, when you guys formed the landfill was in uh, 1994 that you had, there's a lot that's changed in our industry since 1994. And from what I here, it seems like, oh, well, we signed up with waste management, we're only going to be with waste management, and we're not going to talk to anybody else or listen to anybody else's opinion. But I, I think it's important that you guys uh, either s even seek out a bid to see or see if there's another opportunity out there, or even see if there would be a joint venture with waste management and another company or something. Uh, it doesn't even have to be me. I'm just saying that you guys should look at these opportunities because it could benefit the county, it could benefit the residents, and it could, could be very helpful to everybody here. Um, like I say, uh, uh, if, if, if anybody wants any more information about why I feel strongly about this, I'd be more than happy to sit down with you guys. Um, like I say, I have gone through my a significant amount of legal battles with the county over what I did uh, by permitting my waste transfer station. And all we have had is positive feedback, positive uh, um, outcomes from it, um, that the existing infrastructure couldn't support the needs. We now support the needs. I, I, I invite anybody here that wants to come and visit my facility, come visit. It's, it's the cleanest facility in the county as far as a waste uh, a pollution control facility. Uh, but with that said, I, I strongly urge you guys to put a, uh, a committee together, a landfill committee together. I strongly urge you guys to, to push to get answers or to find out what's going on with this. And um, like I said, I don't want to waste a lot of your time, but if anybody has any questions for me uh, now or any time, feel free to talk to me. Sure, go ahead. Um, was a, a while ago, though, uh, I was told by a bunch of people that the uh, county, our county, was suing you. I asked the state's attorney, and the state's attorney said that the county was not suing you, and that the uh, they were just handling the case for the state of Illinois, the people of the state of Illinois. And in other words, she said basically no. And I'm still hearing from our, the other people that I talked to that the answer should have been yes, because I wanted to know how much money we spent. 
and get to the bottom of that. You know, why are we, I wanted to know if we were putting a lawsuit on you by our, we, we chose to do that, a small business, why? And how much did it cost and why didn't the board know about it? Yeah, well, um, so personally, um, I have over just shy of a million dollars in legal bills being challenged by the county as a small business um, for what I was doing. Um, from what I have seen from county bills, you guys have spent close to the same, roughly, right? I don't know if you know, if you can speak on that. No? Uh, through your engineers, through hiring outside attorneys, through outside counsel, maybe Dave, do you? you? I got Do you know any of the legal costs? That were here. Oh, is anybody? I think all the questions should be. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Well, maybe those are those yeah. might be some of the people to ask. How much has actually been spent on something that's challenging me a small business? Um, I do know that um, you know it was. I haven't. I happened to get come across an email that was from uh, uh, some of the staff here uh, from the land use department uh, saying that we need to, along with waste management, to challenge this. Uh, small business, um, and uh, we're, we might get some pushback from them trying to grow. A while back, I tried our our transfer station. I tried permitting it in 2014. I got a local sighting from Rockdale in 2014. Um, I had um, I got taken to the pollution control, waste management, and the county and the state's attorney. Um, joined together to challenge me, took me to the Pollution Control Board uh, twice. Um, I, I, both times we were right in, in our, in where we sat, then I got challenged at the uh, appellate court, and won there, I brought back to the appellate court, and had to go to the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court didn't want to listen to it, uh, so it got, uh, we got, we were ruled in favor of, and it took me from 2014 to 2020 to actually get open, all that was all just legal bills that, that I kept on, not only on my side, but on your guys' side as well, and the taxpayer side as well. Um, and and by, in that time frame, from 2014 to 2020, it grew significantly. So by the time I opened, I was planning on only bringing in so much waste, um, roughly about 200 to, to 300 ton a day, and by the time that happened, there was a need for more. So we were at, we were permitted for 600. Right away I, I applied for a permit to boost that tonnage up to 1,080, uh, which our site can easily handle over 2,000 ton a day. But um, I went up to 1,080, and once again I got challenged um, by the state's attorney and the, um, and I, 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 I really, I don't even, and I don't know, if it was just state's attorney or just waste management or who was really pushing it, but, um, but I got challenged on trying to increase my tonnage, um, but there was a need for it. I mean, the current transfer station couldn't handle it. We had available capacity, but and I kept reaching out, saying, "Somebody talk to me. Somebody at least let me know. You know, what 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 is it that I'm doing wrong that we can't work through this?" And um, I didn't really get anywhere. Um, but with that said, um, I have a lot of battles that I have fought with. Uh, not with you guys directly, but with the county and with the um, state's attorney on trying to do things that are beneficial. I mean, as this county grows, you guys are creating more garbage. And I know everybody, it, it's, 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 it's a, it, it, it is a good thing when that, because that means that uh, people are coming here to do business and people are living here and, and things are good and thriving here. Um, so when you guys are looking at a landfill expansion, uh, it took me just, it took me, about eight to 10 years to get there. Uh, you guys are gonna look at a long process too for that. But I would say, start that process now, get a landfill committee together, start finding out what your options are, um, and know the positives and the negatives against it, and look for that. But I, I strongly encourage the expansion. Um, I think it's, 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 it's a benefit to the, to the residents, it's a benefit to you guys as the county, so. Um, but like I said, if anybody has any questions, feel free to ask them to each other. Definitely raise the questions. Um, I, I have saw and I just want everyone to know, I don't know if there are any more questions than what I say, but I started writing about this stuff when I first got in the board, so you're talking about 10 years ago. And 
in February of 21, I got aggravated because every time I brought this issue up, it got postponed. Every time. So February 21, I stood at the podium at the end of the meeting and read a resolution that I wrote demanding that we go out for a landfill expansion and that we went to bid for every aspect of the landfill expansion and every aspect about the RNG, all of that stuff that we go out to bid to keep everybody honest. That resolution passed. It's a year and, what, two months now? Since this happened, we, we get, two months ago, we talked about creating a committee. And we moved forward on a committee. We went through the executive. We, we talked about it for a month. Then we went to the executive. The executive committee passed it. Our chief of staff goes on vacation, and then yesterday at 4 o'clock in the afternoon, I get told that the thing is canceled that the state's attorney's office said that probably can't do it because we didn't do something right or whatever. Uh, citing that uh, there's no such thing as other, there's no, the state law says, again, what I said before about the state law, remember that, but the state law, according to what we were told, says that we can't have a, a committee like that. Well, Mr. Emma just read off four places, four counties in the state of Illinois that have landfill committees. So I'm Sicilian. I grew up in the neighborhoods. My brain thinks, why did they, they had two months to say something and then it's all of a sudden it's killed. I would like to know why it was killed at four o'clock like the day before our meeting. That's really upsetting to me. I wanted to go through the process. I wanted to point out that we, is a, this is policy stuff. It's not about necessarily getting into the nuts and bolts of building this thing, but it's policy that we have to set. So we reduce the tipping fees. So that means when people come to dump, it costs less money. Then we turned around and increased the volume that we're getting by allowing more places to come in. And yet you heard from Mr. Epema that it takes a long time. We were told it takes 11 years. I was told by some people it takes sometimes 20 years. We increase the volume and get less pay less money. So what's going to happen 11 years from now? Are we going to have this done? Because are we going to stall it? Or are we afraid to go out to bid because we might find out we could have had a better deal somewhere else? What's going on? Why we get stopped? This is another attempt to push it away again. And it's very upsetting to me because we're a board and we seem to work really well together. Republicans and Democrats are, for the first time since I've been on this thing, actually working together. We have to protect the people of Will County. And by just sitting back and going, oh, can't do it. That ain't going to work. And the reason that I'm pushing it is because I know I used to have a garbage business. I did all kinds of trucking. I understand this stuff. And I'm very upset about it. I think you can tell from my voice. So when we, when we try to kill something in the last second, what does that seem like to everybody? If you watch TV, that's like a good murder mystery or a good conspiracy theory, right? And that's what my brain is thinking now. Who is doing something they ain't supposed to do? Otherwise, they just would, nobody would have said nothing. We would just move forward with a committee. And the committee was, the purpose was to build a landfill. Set the policies necessary to build a landfill and make sure everything was fit out. And then down the road, we would have got into the RNG, making sure everything gets fit out, making sure the policies are correct. So this gentleman, he was going to come to my landfill meeting and talk. And he, he has a lot more. He's got a big thing there. He has a lot of stuff to say, 
but he needs to say it because he's got a short time and it's 10 after 1. The guy taking the video probably wants to go home. Everybody in the room is probably pissed off because I'm talking. But you know what? The bottom line is we can't let this thing die as a county board. We've got to protect the people in Will County. And if we don't, shame on us. And when we die, God punishes people like us because if we don't do the right stuff, we're going to say, well, I was a scare, or I didn't want to because people would get mad. And God says, good, go downstairs. All right, we're going to wrap I have been very lean in these public comments, and that, I think it's been a good conversation we're having, but I have to wrap it up. Are there any other public comments? Comments from the board members? Okay. I'm uh, looking for a, a, we don't have an executive session. No, we not. Looking for a motion to adjourn. Move to adjourn. Second. 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 Thank you.